Today's adventure is around the Essequibo River, which is the largest river right here in Guyana. And it also happens to be the largest river between Orinoco and Amazon. And some of my Guyanese friends told me that this is an amazing tour. So if you guys want to learn something new with me, I will invite you to stick around until the end of my video. And for the new members of my lovely world, my name is Diana Hernandez and I do traveling videos with my husband. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, I will invite you to subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so you don't miss any of my traveling adventures. This video starts now. We started our trip at 6 a.m. in the morning. We took one hour little bus ride all the way to Perica Marina. From Perica Marina, we took our little boat ride for about 30 minutes to our first stop, Port Island. Francisco is all safe now. <laughs> yeah, it's safe. <laughs> I need to wear mine. This is our first stop, Port Island. And that's all I have to say. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I will give you more information a little bit. The Dutch were the first Europeans to settle modern-day Guyana. And our tour guide just told me if you guys want to spend the night here. This is a really nice hotel that recently opened and you can totally spend the night here. That's the bar on the side. It would be amazing. I didn't know we can stay here. I would say. Right here is where the Dutch used to hide their weapons. It's a lot cooler down here, and the reason why they hide it here is because here is cooler and it wouldn't explode. And this is built out of a different material, and that's why it's so cold. Okay, I think the tour guide is leaving me. I have to go. We just arrived to our second stop, Sloth Island. Sloth Island. And it took us about two hours from Fort Island to here. And to get to Fort Island, it was just 30 minutes. We didn't know it was gonna take us this long, but the ride was beautiful. Now we're hungry and it's time to see some Sloth. I cannot pronounce the name of these animals, but in Spanish, they are called Perezosos. Right here is where we are going to enjoy our beautiful lawn. This is the longest stop, I think. And I'm hungry. Three to four weeks, yeah, you will get a nice color like this. Let's see if we are lucky enough to see some of the perezosos, sloth. So hard for me to pronounce that word. But by the way, there's so many wonderful trees here. There is the tree where they make incense right behind me. And this one is a very poisonous tree. If you cut the bark of it and, and the smell comes out, it smells really, really strong, you can get poison out of it. There's also another one. This is the bark tree where they make the oil, the sunblock, all the lotions that we use out there in the United States. 
So they have everything here in the jungle and I have to pay attention because I don't want to trip. This is a very little tiny uh, bridge made out of wood that lasts forever. I don't know the name of this wood. And that's Francisco walking right in front of me. Baby, say hello. I think he's hungry. I think Francisco is hungry. This is where we're gonna have our lunch. The boat ride took us two hours to get here. So, because I'm always prepared, woo! I brought some sandwiches, I brought nuts, bananas, and now he's thanking me because I brought all of it. I have to be careful. Look how, how tiny this is. Maybe I will record once I get there. Be safe first. This is my favorite moment, lunchtime, and we're gonna have some typical Danish food. Let's see what they have. I'm still doing Lent, so let's see if I can eat something. Otherwise, I will eat my sandwich. I can see amazing rice, some spaghetti, so noodles. Mmm, amazing food. So they have some fish cake for me. Some chicken for Francisco and some curry. vegetables. Curry chicken? Yeah. Yes, curry chicken, definitely. This is our fourth stop and the one that I really want to go is the waterfalls because it's so hot and I really want to swim and enjoy. But this is the fourth stop and it's called Fort Kite Overall. This monument right here to my right is what is left of the fort that the Dutch built a long, long time ago during colonization time. And this area, they strategically built it here because they were able to see ships coming from three different rivers so they can defend themselves and defend the land that they just colonized. The rest of the bricks were moved somewhere else. That's what I've been told. And now it's time to go to my favorite part. weather here in Guyana is crazy. One moment sunshine and the next moment it's raining like crazy. Similar to Miami though. Finally we are on our fifth and last stop, the waterfalls. And I can hear them from here. And the weather is perfect to jump into that cold water because I'm sure it is gonna be cold. And that's it. This is the last up guys <laughs> it is time for me to enjoy it but before I start enjoying the what's left of my day I'm gonna show you guys the the waterfall that I was waiting for is finally here. The waterfalls are very cold. They're small, but beautiful. And I already jumped, but this is already inside. I am going to explore to see what's up there. 
everybody's up there, so I have to walk slowly because I don't have my shoes on. There's a lot of spiky stuff. Oh my god, and a lot of garbage. I feel so sad when I see that. There is a relaxing area all the way up here at the end of the waterfall. It's like a resting area where you can change, relax in the hammock. And there's a lot of mosquitoes. <laughs> and I don't even have some block or mosquito, anti-mosquito cream or anything. Well guys, this is the end of my Esequibo River tour. I hope you guys learned something because definitely Francisco and I did learn something new. And if you think there's any value in this video, please leave a comment down below. Also subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so you don't miss any of my next traveling adventures. And if you happen to be in Guyana and you want to do this tour, all the information is down below. I'm going to put the telephone number, the link, the website, the Instagram, all the information that you need is there. But be aware, this tour is the whole day. We woke up at 5 in the morning and we get back home at 7 p.m. So be prepared. Bring comfortable shoes, comfortable clothes, bikini, fully flops, sunblock, and a lot of snacks and water. Even though they're going to give you snacks, lunch, and water, always come prepared so i see you next sunday guys ciao ciao